Uh, yeah, my um, my crew chief Adam Stevens, he's not here right now, but he did a great job today on giving me a awesome race car that was just dominated. You know, I just um, was able to lead a ton of laps. Uh, I was out front, you know, pretty much uh, all day, and then there at the end, the caution came out, and uh, we came in and took four. <laughs> and uh, we went back to like seventh or eighth or something like that, and um, we were just able to move our way up there uh, slowly but surely. And um, you know, I, once I got the second, I was like, man, I need a caution. But uh, we just kept booking, kept trying as hard as we can, and I was able to catch a 20 in a hurry. And um, you know, and then they got caught up on lap traffic, and I uh, was able to have a big run and get on the outside of him. Uh, and then he was pretty loose, so I had to just take the air off him a little bit. And uh, able to pass it and take the win. So I went from uh, really mad, thinking we, we um, you know, weren't going to win it, to uh, all of a sudden we to lead. So it was pretty cool. We are now joined by our race winning crew chief, Adam Stevens. Adam, talk a little bit about um, the dominating performance today from your team and Joey. Yeah, uh, you know, coming into this weekend, I had a really good feeling. Uh, we had strong cars both races last year here. Um, Joey is, is really good on the concrete tracks and exceptional here at Dover. So. I honestly felt like it was our race to lose before we even put the car in the truck uh, and came up here. And then practice went uh, pretty smooth. Um, I felt like we spent more time um, looking for big picture items than track tuning, just because this track tends to change so much. Um, then the race started and, and uh, we just jumped out there and we're just blazing fast. Um, you know, <laughs> on the, the, out, or the caution lap or the out laps, pace laps there, I told Joey, you know, we gotta attack and go hard all day and it wasn't five laps in, I was telling him to back it down because he was so <laughs> fast. Um, but, uh, you know, it's just a testament to the, the hard work and preparation of everybody at Joe Gibbs Racing and that we're able to take a good setup and transfer it between teams and, and everybody go fast. Um, and then there, there at the end, when that caution came out, it was kind of like, um, you know, you're kind of danged if you do and danged if you don't. Um, I felt like if we didn't come, they were going to come and we were going to be a sitting duck. Um, and I was surprised once we came, the guys that were battling handling conditions didn't didn't come and make an adjustment. Um, and they didn't. Um, and man, I was about ready to grab my engineer's laptop and start updating my resume there on the pit box. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that had been a tough one to swallow, but um, Joey dug hard um, and the lap traffic kind of pinched a 20 in and uh, we were able to pull it off. Okay, we'll go ahead and open it up for questioning. Does anybody have any questions for Joey or Adam? Go ahead. Reed. Uh, Reed Spencer with the NASCAR Wire Service. Joey, uh, you've sort of inherited the mantle from Kyle Busch in terms of the 18 car and the success you're having, four wins in 10 races. Do you feel like um, that pretty much you you're, you can win any time you get in that car at this point? And second of all, um, all else being equal, do you think you could have caught him if the lap traffic hadn't intervened like that? Uh, I think it was like six to go when I realized, man, I'm catching a pretty quick rate. And I was like, ah, man, it's going to be close. I said, I think I can get there. You know, and I, th th I think that's about all I can do is get there. Um, but I may have been able to pass him. You know, it's hard to say. The lap traffic definitely helped the situation a lot for me. But, um, you know, as far as this 18 car or, or 20 car, Joe Gibbs Racing in general, um, working with Adam and, and, you know, my team, uh, it's been great. You know, they've been doing an awesome job. Our communication is right where it needs to be. We do a great job in practice now. And, and a lot of that is due to, uh, you know, last year, um, you know, we struggled a little bit. And uh, we were able to really, you know, diagnose uh, some of the things we can do better as a team and, and make our cars better. And over the off season, they did a great job, uh, you know, making our cars better, you know, better aero, better motor, all that stuff, it all adds up. And, um, you know, we come to, to the racetrack with a better package and we're able to, you know, make smaller uh, adjustments and practice to tune it in um, better. And, uh, and that all transfers into the race. So, um, you know, they've done a great job with this new car, uh, you know, kind of going through the hard times and now we're, uh, you know, back to where we need to be. And the hard part is staying there. You know, we got to make sure we uh, stay on our game and uh, don't get comfortable uh, because that's, uh, we know what got us here. Okay. Anyone else have any additional questions for Joey or Adam? Any you guys are quiet today. <laughs> any questions upstairs? I have a question for Joey. Go ahead. <laughs> what do you think about the job that Ryan Truex did this weekend? Ryan, he did do a great job, and um, <laughs> Adam and I, we were we were mad after qualifying. Uh, the both of us because uh, we didn't get the pole there. But uh, Ryan did one heck of a job um, in practice and everything. The whole uh, you know 20 bunch there did a, a good job making their car really fast. And 
um, one of those late race restarts, and he was uh, second, and he was right behind me, and I couldn't pull away. I'm like, oh boy, I got to work for this one a little bit now. All of a sudden, so um, you know that made me a little bit nervous. Um, but I tell you, they, they did a great job for sure. And Joey, this is your first victory at Dover. Um, w considering this was where you made your much anticipated debut, talk a little bit about what it means to finally come back and get the Monster Trophy. I, I came across the line and said, finally, you know, it's taken us, uh, you know, what's this, four years since I've made my debut, I think, or something like that. So, um, and I've come close every time, you know, last year we uh, were passing for the lead and we wrecked. And uh, th I can think of at least four races that uh, I've been up front of this thing and had a shot at winning and always something going wrong. And then uh, I thought the same thing was happening today. I was like, <laughs> figures. But um, we, we were able to power through that and that was just uh, digging down deep and making it happen. So. Um, it's cool to finally win here. You know, this, this place is, to me, I think it's one of the coolest racetracks. It's not the coolest racetrack we get to go to, so it's, uh, it's neat to finally get that big monster. All right, go ahead, Steve. Steve Richards with PRN. Uh, can you talk about getting into the 24 that one time? Because Rusty on TV was pretty critical of you getting into him and said something about it happened at, Do or happened at Darlington and now it happened at Dover, and he didn't, ha he didn't like the way you were racing the 24. Can you just uh, talk about that? I, I think Rusty needs to look at the tape and say, hey, the guy's like 10 laps down. You know, give the uh, the leader some respect out there. And I wasn't getting no respect. I'm trying to win the race. And, uh, you know, wasn't getting no respect. I got underneath him and he kept coming down. So I'm not going to lift because uh, that's what's going to get the 20 right back to my back bumper. So I had to go and uh, he just didn't give me the room. So, I mean, it's, it's racing. Do you remember when you were his age and maybe made the same kind of mistake and think that'll yeah, I mean you got to learn somehow I mean you you, you know you got to learn to to give the leaders respect out there and that's that's part of it and uh you know obviously we've all gone through that before um you know and and you know obviously it's it's, it's a bummer for uh, their team to have to fix that thing um but at the same time I got to do my job my job's out there to win the race and no matter what that is I got to do that um, you know, and, and obviously it wasn't on purpose. I was underneath him, you know, I was give me the room, you know, when, uh, it's kind of a common sense thing.